my toothbrush, you may. Okay. I'm a professional, man. Let's just <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Greetings. This is Reggie Middleton. Um, I'm here to introduce Veritasium. That's the startup corporation that we've created or I've created and now to we Veritasium actually has several employees now. And Veritasium owns and controls the technology behind Ultracoin, which is the unbreakable promise. It's the technology that I've been discussing since late 2013. I'm very excited about it. Uh, I'd like to introduce Matt Bogosian. He's my chief technology officer and smart contract engineer. I'm going to toot his horn for a change since I'm always tooting my own. Matt is, um, as a chief technology officer, he has a background in uh, software engineering and programming. He worked for several big companies, name dropping Amazon, Yahoo, etc. But he's also an IP attorney and a patent attorney. IP is an intellectual property, correct? That is correct. Okay. Um, what better than a contract attorney and a software engineer to make smart contracts? It's a very, very rare combination. Um, I can think of maybe two individuals. One is suspected of being the progenitor of Bitcoin, and that is, I think, Dr. Nick Zables in Georgetown. And there's another one who I can't remember off the top of my head, but glad to have him on board. Glad to be here. And Matt has worked wonders with the product. So today we're going to, uh, normally I wouldn't do this. I would never take the other side of any of Reggie's trades because I'm not nearly as sophisticated uh, an investor as he is. But today we're going to uh, uh, engage in a trade. Um, I don't know which one yet, but we're both running the, we both downloaded and are running the UltraCoin client. And what should we trade today? Well, let's do a plain vanilla trade using uh, two different platforms. Obviously, this is the new Surface 3 running Windows 8.1, and that's a MacBook Air. Um, quick uh, stab at the diversity of the client. Um, we want this to run on every possible platform, including the most ubiquitous, which would be our next step, hopefully, and that would be the smartphone. Smartphones, tablets, uh, iOS, um, Mac OS X, Windows, and it's actually using Glass. You didn't ask that question, though, did you? No, so, I didn't, but that's okay. <laughs> <you'll> trade. <laughs> let's start with something plain vanilla. Um, let's go short a stock, and we'll explain how we go short. Um, I'll do the quick explanation, you'll both do the mechanics. The quick explanation is this works on the theory of swaps, through a swapping exposure. So if you want to go something that I guess I'm famous for, let's go short Apple, which is still controversial, despite the fact that um, the market for pressure and trade seems to be uh, run its course. To go short Apple, we have to, uh, I have to swap exposure with Apple, the exposure with something else. As a U.S. citizen, I use U.S. dollars. Okay, we'll use uh, Matt's um, proclivity for Apple products, known as the MacBook Pro. So I take uh, my Apple stock or my Apple stock exposure, and I want to sell it to Matt because he wants Apple more than I do. And I'll take Matt's U.S. dollars, and I receive U.S. dollars. I pay Apple exposure. Matt receives Apple exposure and pays U.S. dollars. So it's the same as me being long the dollar, short Apple. He is long Apple, short the dollar. Okay, fast forward into the future when Apple tanks inevitably from margin compression, reference past videos. I close the swap out. Um, Apple goes from uh, $90 a share to $60 a share. Okay, I take the $30 difference. You know, this is not using the actual investment. So you take the 30% difference in Bitcoin and put it back in my account. Net transaction fees, the fee for the service of UltraCoin and other expenses for this transmission, which are relatively small. Okay, Matt gets the same collateral principal, net fees, and he has to pay his loss on my gain. That's it in a nutshell. Matt, mechanics? So because of my product proclivity and how it has blinded me <laughs> to my investment opportunities, uh, what I would do is, uh, and what we have done, is start up the UltraCoin client. And I, I don't want to lose my shirt on a 90 to 60 drop, um, uh, so I'm going to uh, at least keep my losses or, or, or to a minimum. So what, uh, what I'll do, I think Bitcoin is trading at about 650, 680, some, something around there today here in, here in Chicago at the Bitcoin conference. Um, I, I don't want to lose that much, so uh, what I'll do is, is enter in, uh, let's say, uh, I don't know, 
10 bucks. I can, I can afford to lose that. So some, something around 0.02 Bitcoin. So what I would do is I would enter in uh, 0.02 uh, in the, the principal field. Um, I have an option of uh, uh, matching that with a, with a fuzz factor, but since we're doing this uh, uh, side by side, we can, we can trade exact amounts. Um, I will be going long Apple, and I will be going short the US dollar. So I will enter those respective tickers into, or enter those tickers into their respective fields. And what do you think? Five minute trade, maybe? Uh, let's, let's make it one minute. Fair enough. Yes, so it's over. And uh, so once I've completed uh, the, the requisite terms, I can create a, uh, create a new swap and, or a swap order and submit it to the network. Okay. And on the other side, you have, um, theoretically, if you were sitting side by side and I didn't know it was Mac, typing on a MacBook with the proclivity to Apple products, I would go and search for somebody who had a proclivity to either Apple products or Apple stock, preferably Apple stock. And I do either a search for Apple for the underline, someone wants to go long Apple so I can short it, or the principal amount, time factor, etc. Preferably all of them to get an exact match plus or minus the fudge factor that um, Matt described. So I put the fields in, I hit search, and then lo and behold, there's a sucker, I'm sorry, there's <laughs> someone who wants to go long Apple. I take the other side of it by highlighting it and click the match selected button. And that gives me a summary, and that summary I then accept. It's a summary smart contract, so to say. I accept it, and together it goes up into the nether field of magical investment field which Matt will explain in a slightly more technical term. So given, given the compatibility of the two orders, uh, they are candidates for matching. And we match, uh, once they are matched, uh, what we will do is uh, commit both of those funds to a swap for the duration of the swap, in this case, one minute. Um, so once our uh, transactions go live, then um, and are matched then we're basically in it in it for a minute and when it's done the server will resolve it i will take my losses reggie will take his winnings and uh, those coins will be deposited back into our wallet so in a few minutes here we are in the mac os we put in the principal column 0.02 bitcoin at today's prices that is roughly 12 dollars or so we put 0% deviation since we want an exact match. And in the receive exposure text box, we type in the ticker for Apple. And in the pay exposure text box, we type in the ticker for the US dollar. USD equals X, where X is uh, representative of a Forex ticker. Duration for one minute. We click the create new button. And voila, the terms for our smart contract appears. Principal, principal minimum and maximum from the deviation control at zero. We click accept. We go to the My Orders and Trades tabs, and you can see our brand new smart contract has appeared, at least from our side. Now we switch over to the Windows side. We type 0.02 Bitcoin in the principal amount. We put zero in the deviation. And we want to take the opposite side of what we just put in the Mac. So we type in USD equals X, which stands for US dollars. So you want to receive US dollars and pay Apple exposure for one minute. We hit search to find a contract with those parameters. Voila, we found a match, an exact match even. We highlight that match. And we go down to the button that says match selected. And we have a smart contract summary with the terms. We click place order, which accepts the summary, accepts the contract in its terms. And to the lower left-hand corner in the status bar, it says 
offer accepted. Actually, it said accepting offer, and then it gave you offer accepted. And in the My Orders and Trades tab, we have now a fully executed smart contract with the time ticking down through one minute.